Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, we're going to learn how to add page numbers in Microsoft Word, starting from any page in your document. It turns out it's a little bit complicated. Let's find out how to do this. Here I am in Microsoft Word, and I would like to include page numbers on this document. Of course, I don't want to include a page number on the cover page, because that would be silly. To insert page numbers, first off, let's go up to the top tabs and click on the one titled Insert. And right here in the center, there's a category for header and footer. Let's click on this dropdown for page number. And here you can choose the location of your page numbers. I'll go with the bottom of the page and let's put it over on the right hand side. Here I now have page numbers in my document, but here we see that I have a page number on my cover page and I don't want a page number there. To remove the page number from the first page, right up on top, you should have a new tab titled header and footer. Right here, we have a checkbox next to different first page. Well, we want to have a different first page, so let's check that box. And over here, I see that the page number has disappeared from the first page, but if we look over at my second page, it starts with the number two. Now, I want this to be my first page, or basically say number one. To change this within header and footer, over on the left-hand side, let's click into page number, and within this menu, there's the option for format page numbers. Let's click on that, and that opens up a dialog. Down at the very bottom, we have a section for page numbering, and here it says start at one. Well, of course we want it to start at one, but it views this very first page, or the cover page, as page one. So here, let's shift it to start at zero. This way, the cover page will be zero. I'll click on OK, and here we have it starting at one on my second page. That looks perfect. On second thought, I think it would actually make more sense to start on page number three, which is where the text actually starts. I mean, who has a page number on the table of contents? That doesn't make any sense. Unfortunately, this technique that we just looked at only works if you want to start your page numbers on page two. If you want it to start on page three or four or five or any other page in your document, it's a little bit more complicated, but still really not that bad. First off, let's undo the changes that we made. Here, I'll click down into the footer and let's delete the page number at the bottom. Right up on top, in the header and footer tab and on the ribbon, let's uncheck the box next to different first page. Then let's go back to page number, go down to format page numbers, and let's set it to start at one again and then click on OK. And we're now back to square one. So how do we add a page number to page number three? Well, to do that, we need to break this document up into sections. And we're going to use something called a section break. Up on the top tabs, let's click on the one titled Home. And right in the center in the paragraph category, let's click on the paragraph icon. This shows us all the different hidden formatting in this document. And right on page two, I can see that there's currently a page break here. That basically marks the end of this page and the beginning of the third page. Instead of using a page break, we're going to use something called a section break. Let's click at the end right here and then hit the backspace icon and that removes that page break. And here you see that it pulls all the text from page number three up to page number two. Now we're going to use a section break. To get there up on the top tabs, let's click on the option titled layout. And right here, there's the option for breaks. And you have all sorts of different breaks that you could insert. For example, we could re-add that page break, but we want to break this up into different sections. Right down here, I see a category for section breaks. Let's insert a next page break. When I click on that, here you'll see that it's added text that says section break next page. And then right down here, I have my text on the next page. We have now successfully broken this document up into two separate sections. Page one and two are one section, and then all the remaining pages are the other section. The benefit of adding multiple sections is you can go in and you can modify or you could customize the footer independent from all of the other sections. So we're going to add page numbers to section number two, and then we won't add page numbers to section number one. To add page numbers just to section number two, let's double click into the footer on page number three. Right over here, we can now see that I am in the section number two footer. If I scroll up the page to the first two pages of the document, here I can see that these are both part of section one. So great, we now have separate sections. Before we make any changes to this footer, let's click on the home tab. And then over here, let's turn off that hidden formatting by clicking on the paragraph icon. Down below, let's now add some text to section number two. I will simply type in page. And let's scroll up a little bit. But wait, 
The same exact text is also showing up in section number one. I thought we could customize them independent from one another. Well, let's delete this text right here and then let's scroll down to section number two. Within section number two, you'll notice some text that says same as previous. What this means is that this footer or this section is currently linked or tied to the previous section. So how do we turn that off? Well, with this footer selected, let's go to the top tabs and click on header and footer. And right here in the center in the navigation category, you'll see an option that says link to previous. We don't want to link it to the previous section. So let's toggle this off. And now this section will be independent from the previous section. Within header and footer, let's now add our page number. Over on the left hand side, click into page number and I'll place it in the bottom right hand corner. And there's my page number. Page number three starts with one, then two, and I have page numbers throughout the rest of my document. However, if I go up to the first two pages of my document, you'll notice that section one has no page numbers. With sections, you can add page numbers anywhere throughout your document. You could even have multiple sections, each with their own set of page numbers. And you could even go through and you can customize and format what those page numbers look like anywhere in your document. All right, you should now be all set with your page numbers. Let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next video.